racing away from the 1400 meter marker. Marsan was a little bit slow to go. First one out is Call Me Winter, Kingski's Crusade, Cape Bluebells on the outside, La Colossa Strong in the yellow. They are followed by La Bastide, who's on the outside of runners. Kingski's Crusade's in the orange towards the inside, then comes Amber First. They are followed by Hello Summer. Along the inside of that, Princess Analia, then Eden Gardens Glitz, and Marsan is the trailer, and it's about eight or nine lengths off the leader. Call Me Winter by a length. In second is Cape Bluebell, Kingski's Crusade. On the outside, Hello Summer, La Colossus further back in the run. And then on the inside, Amber first. Cantata's the outside, then Miss Sabina, Eden Gardens, Gliss, Princess Analia and Marsan. Top of the lane, 500 to go. Call me winter, the leader. Cape Bluebell's the first one to move in. Towards the inside, Kingski's Crusade. Marsan's going through down the inside to put in a claim. Call me winter, still there by two or three. Marsan, Cape Bluebell, Cape Sabina's on the outside. It's still call me winter. Marsan is starting to close it down over the last hundred. Cantata's on the outside, and Cantata's coming powerfully on the outside of Marsan. It's close. Oh, I'm not going to split them. Marsan or Cantata, they went over the line as one. Terrific struggle. Marsan was just going to go, but Cantata comes strongly on the outside. Let's see. Marsan and Cantata in a head bobbing duel. And Marsan's just the leader as they come to the line. Whoa, go back a fraction. Go back. Well, I'm not going to split them. That is so close. Marsan's there, but Cantata puts its head down so. We'll see. I don't know if they're going to go up with the photo. Then Cape Bluebell. Princess Analia, very, very close to in the fourth race to a dead heat. Or we we'll wait for the judges, though. So Cantata is number seven. Marsan sneaks through three off the left hand side. And Cantata towards the outside comes home well. Number seven is showing up at 14.10 and number 11 at 4.60. Came from the tail of the field, slowing to stride, and they race wide apart. So let's just wait for that uh, judge's decision. On that, maybe more... No, I won't give a decision. Let's rather let the judges make that official, but uh, we'll wait for the judges on that one. In a terrific photo finish, number 11, Marsan, the daughter of McGock, has lost it just long enough. The judge has gone with her just ahead of Cantata. Now, Duncan, in the ring, she looked immaculate. Just had to step out the maidens and show her true worth. That's right, yes. Uh, she's a little bit unlucky. I th she missed the break, which I didn't, didn't think played in her favour. But uh, wouldn't full of merit. She's unfortunately not... Uh, she's got problems and we're going to have to look after her. I think if we do the right thing with her, we'll definitely go on to win a lot more races with her. Well, they say patience is a virtue, and these type of horses, you just got to wait till they tell you to go. That's right. Uh, I've told Dave, he's one of the partners in the horse, to change his orange colours to blue. <laughs> Maybe we'll have a bit more luck in the other colours. But well done to Frank, to Dave, to Warren. Uh, you know, we, we, we had a lot of patience with her. And unfortunately, sometimes with horses, you have to show the patience. And fortunately, this one's come to fruition. Well done. Thanks. Just thanks to our sponsors, Winning Form, and thanks to Craig. Let's get Craig Zaki into the picture. Of course, he rode her last time. Now, first time out the Maidens, it's never easy, but she is above average. She's definitely above average, Charles. You know, she's got the world of problems. Uh, she's always unsound, and you know, we can never ever get her to a peak in fitness wise, and just shows you her class. I mean, today, she was really above herself. That's been fresh, and not a lot, lot of work into her, and didn't get the best of breaks, but I was fairly happy seeing the amount of how many horses with three wide. I was able to be closer, even though I was sitting last. And look, she, she really cruised in into the straight, um, hanging in that last bit. But you know what? I was, I was always sure I held on. And then, then I saw Gates saluting off the line. I'm like, okay, maybe he saw it another way. But 
look awkward at Timus Sahal's. Um, it's obviously keeping this filly in fine neck, you know. Uh, Timus Limfina, always a pleasure riding for him, you know. He's a wonderful character and just uh, owners like these that makes racing fun and it's just extra special winning uh, on horses for owners like this. Well done, well ridden. Thanks, once again Timus Sahal's. Great training feat. He's given me a lot of support. Thanks to him, Ms. Limfina and his uh, partners. And to my sponsors, mates, Fentine and Wachelbos, Jeff Walden, and thank you. Goodbye. Thanks. Warren's going to come through and have the final say. The daughter of Magok out of the El Mafti Mare, El Vino. Now, you're going to be a bit hoarse? Very hoarse, Phil. Very hoarse. I'm sure from your studio, you would have seen me dancing around the parade ring like a, a San Gorma. Uh, but uh, it was really just wonderful. And uh, before I go any further, to thank the Jell Foundation and uh, Andrew Bond and his family who bred this filly. Uh, we forgot to mention them last time, and uh, to the whole partnership, David and Frank and Duncan. Wow, I mean, to have a filly that we thought a couple of months ago that would never see the race course, um, and, and for Duncan to say that uh, we're possibly going to battle here, for her to have come and run two races and, and be unbeaten, we're very privileged. And uh, to the filly, to Craig, to the whole team, James, Kathy, everybody involved, uh, thanks very much to the vets that have worked tirelessly with her. She has been a horse that we've had to be patient with, but we've had some great fun. And But to Dave and to Frank and Joe, being sad they couldn't be here, I did say that I would wish them both a happy Father's Day for today and to all the fathers around the country, around the world, and the stepfathers. Uh, it's just been fantastic. But Craig was told in the parading, try and get up handy, race one or two off them, walked out the pens and came from stone last. But that's racing. The numbers in the frame, as I said to Craig, even if he had run second, it still would have been a great race. But thank well you. done. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sheldon. There we have it in a photo finish. Number 11, Marsan, ahead of Cantata Marsan, the daughter of Magok, back-to-back -back victories and keeps the unbeaten record intact.